Humans are highly social beings, and from birth, faces form a key aspect of our social interactions. They give us clues about an individual's emotions, ancestry, and even their health. They're used by law enforcement in identification and by border control to identify travellers. But what lies deep to the skin? What determines a strong jawline, high cheekbones, or a delicate nose? The things we use to identify our friends when we meet them at Starbucks. Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today as we discuss the bones that form the face. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the bones that we see when we look at the skull from an anterior and a lateral perspective. But before we get onto that, let me explain some important terminology relating to the skull. The skull is divided into two parts, the viscerocranium and the neurocranium. And I know these terms sound a bit scary, but trust me, they're nothing to be scared about. The word viscerocranium simply refers to the bones that form the face and is also sometimes referred to as the splanchnocranium. The neurocranium, on the other hand, refers to the bones that house and protect the brain. So let's also define some differences between terms such as skull, cranium and calvaria, as they often cause a little bit of confusion. The skull refers to the entire bony framework of the head, including the mandible. The cranium refers to the skull without the mandible. And the calvaria refers to the skull cap, which consists of the upper part of the neurocranium or the superior portions of the frontal, parietal and occipital bones. All right, now that you're familiar with the parts of the skull, let me give you an overview of what we'll be covering in today's tutorial. As I mentioned previously, we're going to be covering the anterior and lateral views of the skull, but more specifically, we're going to be focusing on nine bones that can be seen between these two views. So first of all, we'll focus on bones of the viscerocranium, including the nasal bones, the maxillae, the zygomatic bones, and the mandible. Then we'll move on to discuss some bones of the neurocranium, the frontal bone, the parietal bones, the temporal bones, the sphenoid bone, and the ethmoid bone. Next, we'll talk about the bony orbit, which encapsulates all of the structures of the eye, and then we'll bring our tutorial to a close with some clinical notes relevant to the bones that form the face. So as I said, we'll begin our tutorial with the bones of the viscerocranium. So let's start at the center of the face, where we find two small paired bones known as the nasal bones. And these bones define your nose, determining its shape and size. And as you probably have guessed, yes, these are the anterior and lateral views of your nasal bones. Now, their superior borders and main bodies form the bridge of the nose, while the inferior borders connect with the nasal cartilage to then form the superior margin of the nasal aperture, which we will look at in more detail in different tutorials. Moving upwards or laterally, we can see the maxillae highlighted in green from an anterior and lateral perspective. The maxillae is a paired bone consisting of the right and left maxilla, which fuse in the midline. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.